Cancer, hi, Maya here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm um, happy to be with you for your general reading, uh, March 2022. So Cancer, I was uh, meditating on your energy uh, before turning on the camera and I got uh, uh, sent, you know, word sentences, uh, profound change, a night and day, something, a change that is extremely significant in your life is about to happen. Um, at least starting March and um, it is something and I saw a dove a white dove um, that is was landing on your on, on your hand and it's like this whatever this profound change or this change from night to day it's something that is going to bring you so much inner peace uh, it's like really fun look at that and as, as I was saying this um the Nine of Raphael just flew out of the deck, which is a wish come true. It's the card of really being on cloud nine. <laughs> uh, make a wish, dreams become reality, a joyful time in life. That's exactly, I uh, love when spirit does this. That's exactly the feeling that I got with this do white dove landing on your, your hand. It's something, this profound change that happens has been a long time coming, I'm hearing. It has entailed a lot of transformation, a lot of inner work on your part, but it's here and it's bringing you this inner peace. It's like uh, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. You're aligning with this beautiful version of yourself and uh, your life purpose may, may be something as important as this, as significant as this. Um, and that's why it's a profound change from night to day, which is... Right, uh, it's really like um, a manifestation, big time manifestation, that is a wish come true for you guys. And I have the two of cups, so it might have to do with a relationship or uh, love in your life. So let's see. I'm gonna um, pull uh, six main cards and one central card, and I'll um, clarify them as we go along. So let's start. But beautiful vision. <laughs> beautiful vision, really. Cancer, it's like um, big, big, something big. <laughs> it is something big, whatever it is. Okay. So you have the Seven of Cups. So uh, feeling confused, having options, but none, none of them really seem to satisfy you. The Ten of Wands, um, leaving the past behind, leaving whatever dead weight uh, was bending your back. The Six of Cups, <laughs> wow. Um, maybe, um, again, has to do maybe with a relationship. Uh, somebody from the past coming back, reminiscence, nostalgia. The Empress, <laughs> brand new beginning, this uh, promise of a new life, abundance coming your way. The Page of Cups, uh, maybe an apology is due to, for some of you, or renewal in, uh, in the emotional uh, body. Four of Gabriel, brand new foundation, celebration, um, beautiful foundation, whether in love or even in your life in general. This beautiful foundation that is starting in March, this manifestation. And right at the center of your reading, Ten of Pentacles, this is going to be long-term, this is going to be generational, this is a legacy. And bottom of the deck, look at that, we have the Two of Cups. So for a lot of you, this has to do with a relationship uh, that is coming back from the past with the Six of Cups. So let's start um, clarifying, okay? So why is the Seven of Pentacles here, Spirit? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? The Two of Wands, Judgment, and the Sun. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, Judgment and the Sun on the Seven of Cups. So, uh, for uh, a while there, uh, um, you would have been um, in your shadow aspects around this. Whatever this manifestation is for you, uh, whatever this change, this profound change that is happening, 
for the longest time you were confused, you didn't know um, what to choose, uh, the options that you had, you had many options, but none of them seem to satisfy you. Oh, look at that, and we have the star and the ten of pentacles, again, a wish come true, we saw the nine of uh, um, cups, but here's the star, Aquarius energy, really, really, really something that you've, uh, you're have you aligning with that is bringing you um, to your highest version possible at this time, really. it's You're aligning with your stars, it's hope, it's wishes coming true. And again, the Ten of Pentacles that you have right at the center of your reading, right there. This is, this is, this is long term, this is something that is bringing in so much abundance. Um, maybe a vocation for some of you, uh, uh, a project that is gonna take off, and this is gonna, this is gonna be what you're gonna do for the rest of your life. Um, if it's a relationship, this is your person. This is really the deepest soul bond you're ever gonna have in this lifetime, right? Wow! Uh, and um, look at that. So it is something that you've been envisioning for uh, for forever. <laughs> Something you've been envisioning, something that uh, will take you from one uh, timeline to the next, um, something that is very precious to you. Uh, you've been envisioning this, you've been planning this, you've been um, seeing this in your mind's eye, but maybe not seeing it happen for, for a long time there. And that's why it's a profound change. It is... Uh, this change from night and day, right? The the past is uh, bolted to the wall and now there's this brand new passion that is sprouting uh, new shoots in your life and judgment and the sun. Wow. Big, big time energies uh, to start the reading. Wow. With the star and uh, the ten of pentacles, the star and the sun, divine masculine, divine feminine energies, Leo energy and judgment. <laughs> so maybe something that you thought was dead was never going to happen. It is the, here for a new incarnation. It is resurrected basically. Phoenix rising up from the ashes for a brand new beginning that is filled with joy, with happiness. The most positive card in the whole deck. This profound change uh, is you leaving all the stonewalling, all the... Um, the blocks around this, you're leaving them behind and just feeling happy as a naked child riding on this uh, white horse of purity. Wow, big, big energies. Whatever this is for you that is manifesting in March, whether it's uh, a creative project, self-employment, a relationship, a living situation, a dream that you've been having for the longest time, it is happening. And even if uh, for some of you, you thought this was that this was never going to happen. It is here. It is reincarnating for a new day. Beautiful. It's a wish come true. I mean, wow. Um, so all the options that you had that didn't satisfy you, this is in the past. This is what this change from night and day is. From night to day. From night to day. The, the, you know, something you thought w would never happen is happening. <laughs> It's happening in the most major way, right? Oh, wow. Then you have the Ten of Wands. The Empress again. The Four of Swords and the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Uh, so the Nine of Wands, clarifying the Ten of Wands. So yeah, you. this was a long time coming, whatever it is, Cancer. This profound change, uh, change from night to day. Um, that is bringing you this peace, um, so uh, like a, re a real dream that is coming true. You have worked long and hard on this, um, all these wounds that you've accumulated along the way, feeling wounded, the wounded warrior, fe feeling uh, like you can't take one more step on this, you need a breather, you felt burnt out, you felt like this would never happen, right? Um, but you never gave up. This is a very resilient card. I mean, yes, he is wounded. He is injured. He, he can't take one more step. He's done. But he's not giving up somehow deep down. And uh, and this is uh, uh, clarifying the Ten of Wands. So you're going to be able, 
all the weight, all the dead weight, all the overwhelm that you've accumulated around this thing, it's going to be different for all of you. You are going to be able to leave that behind, right? To drop all this dead weight because something is happening in March where your dream is coming true. All this dead weight of fears, anxieties, um, core wounds, like um, feelings of rejection, of... Uh, abandonment, uh, unworthiness, these core wounds that came up around this thing because you, you were confused for the longest time. Is this ever going to happen? Uh, sleepless nights, depression, um, you know, the nine of swords. You're going to be able to put all this to rest with uh, the ten of wands and the four of swords, a recovery phase here and the empress. So this promise of a brand new life. Uh, if this is, whatever this was, was around abundance, maybe feeling very tight on money, you have the Ten of uh, Pentacles right at the center of your reading. If uh, this was a, a financial goal that seemed so far-fetched that you couldn't even think it was going to happen, if it's about your financial security, wow, there's big time abundance coming. Libra and Taurus energy, Venus energy, Love, money, beauty, anchoring into your rea your reality here. The promise of a new life, right? Uh, with the Empress. And you have the Empress twice. Uh, um, we're going to get to that in a second. Then we have the Six of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. Eight of Cups, King of Pentacles. Wow. Wow, Cancer, yes, this is this is big. <laughs> this is big. Here is this change, this profound change that I was seeing in your vision, this change from night to day, <laughs> like something extremely uh, drastic and that's going to happen very fast. It is fate. It is uh, completion. It is time uh, for the wheel to turn in your favor. If this was about lack, right, um, wow, you are getting uh, such a big time abundance coming your way. If this even was around love, uh, your luck is changing here uh, because we have the two of cups. As we said, you know, at the bottom of your uh, deck, two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. Yes. Maybe you were just about to give up on love or you had given up on love completely. Say, you know, uh, whatever happened in the past, it was just uh, messy. I don't care for that anymore. I'm never going to fall in love again, maybe. Well, you are <laughs> in the biggest way. And it might be for some of you, somebody who's coming back from the past, a relationship that you thought was dead, uh, coming back to be revisited here, to be healed with the Six of Cups. And you are finally turning your back on all this emotional baggage that you had accumulated around this thing due to uh, shadow aspects, uh, due to the you know energies like the Nine of Swords, um, the Seven of Cups. But here it is. I mean, you are turning your back on whatever this baggage was for you in the past, uh, you know, embarking on a brand new journey here. And we saw you had the Ten of Wands, so leaving all this behind, really a new cycle here uh, in whatever this is for you. And you will realize that you have invested wisely. You uh, This profound change, it's like at one point you had given up completely on this, just saying, let it go. This is never going to happen. This is not my, you know, this is not my way. This is not my thing. This is not my path. Well, and... And you had invested so much and nothing was happening. And that's why you you were saying this to yourself. But no, you're going to realize that this is the real deal. You've invested wisely in whatever this is, whether it's a relationship or a project or your financial goals, a dream, something like that. And then we have the Empress, Page of Cups. So, uh, Seven of Swords in reverse, Knight of Swords, and uh, look at that, <laughs> look at that, Scorpio energy, so yeah, there's there's been um, a death in the situation, you thought it was over, you thought this is part of the past, this is never coming back, or I can never achieve this, 
but there has been such a major transformation because death is a transition, is a transformation, right? So this is transforming. The transformation is complete here in March. Uh, even though maybe you, you won't be able to see this thing in March, but the transformation will have been complete in March, right? And you have the devil. So there's, again, a, a very toxic dynamic uh, feeling chained, caged in, stuck in the situation. This is over. This is over. The transformation is complete. And uh, for some of you, you know, this is uh, clarifying the Empress. So this brand new abundance that is coming your way, whether in love or uh, in self-employment and financial goals, abundance is coming your way. Uh, maybe apologies from people around this thing. If it's a relationship that is being revisited, could be absolutely an apology from your person, from this deep soul bond that you have, that you thought was dead. Uh, there has been cheating, lying, mind games, manipulation, uh, dishonesty around this thing. Maybe your person was doing this. Uh, maybe you were, I don't know, Cancer, but I'm feeling uh, more like an apology is due to you, uh, due to this dishonesty, this, this uh, energy uh, of dishonesty, uh, sneaky, um, horrible attitude basically is leaving the energy field due to this apology that is coming to you. Somebody's rushing in to give you this apology and it is this brand new beginning, right, with the Empress. Um, the Empress says, time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious or abundant resources. If this was around uh, maybe uh, a, pr a project or uh, self-employment, maybe um, you had people who actually stole from you uh, or, st you know, sabotaged uh, whatever this is, uh, <laughs> it is turning around. It is turning around. Absolutely. Wow. This toxic dynamic, whatever it was, lying, cheating, uh, stuck, stagnant energies, toxic dynamic, it is over. The transformation is complete. And if it is a person, your person coming back from the past, they would have gone through a transformation as well, where they are going to be uh, giving you a real apology around this, whatever happened here. Then you have the Page of Cups. Ten of Cups, <laughs> Five of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, yes. So again, an indication of an apology coming to you from a person, maybe a partner. Um, it is a partner in any case, so it could be a work partner or a love partner. Again, apology coming your way, absolutely. Very honest. So this was about something that was uh, an ultimate happiness for you. If it was a relationship, you could see this relationship going all the way to the Ten of Cups, all the way maybe even to marriage, but really committed relationship, rainbow blessings. But at some point, again, you were you felt left out in the cold. You felt like nobody had your back. You felt that there was no progress in the situation. But this apology is absolutely coming your way. And it's going to make you feel absolutely victorious. I mean, this is day and night energies right here. From feeling completely left out in the cold to feeling completely victorious and recognized. That's, that's exactly what I was seeing in your vision. It is something that is very dear to you. Some kind of partnership, whether it's romantic or otherwise. It is turning around in the most major drastic way. Here, where you couldn't see a way forward, uh, where there was no prog progress, it is absolutely turning around here in March. And then we have the Four of uh, Wands, so the celebration, higher levels of commitment, beautiful foundation, whether in love or in general in your life. This is what it, this is turning into. This is, this is this beautiful inner peace that I was seeing in your vision. King of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and the Star, and the Fool. Wow. Yes. This foundation, this brand new foundation, this that is starting this whole new cycle for you guys, it is, again, a wish come true. You know, the star. <laughs> it is a wish come true. 
um, somebody that is extremely passionate about you, uh, whether it is somebody who's uh, um, uh, helping you in your creative projects or in your job, or somebody who is in love with you, this person is absolutely passionate about you, okay? Um, Leo energy could be a Leo, could be a fire, fire sign in general. Um, so uh, Leo, Sag or Aries, this person is very passionate about you. They're coming back, aligning, aligning with you, aligning with this higher version of you. Wish come true. Uh, equal give and take, generosity, abundance, and a brand new beginning that is going to allow you to build uh, a sacred space around whatever this is. But a brand new beginning, wow, the fool and the star. This is really um, this night and day. <laughs> Look at that, this night and day change, this profound change, this drastic change is really... Um, a wish come true that is going to allow a brand new beginning in your life, uh, a brand new foundation that you're going to celebrate so much joy, happiness, whether it is around a work partnership, a romantic partnership, a soul bond, any of these things, uh, a living situation, um, creative project. It can be either, uh, or either one of all these things because it's really going to be different for all of you. This is, wow, this is going to be big. <laughs> and you're going to celebrate it in the most major way um, here, Cancer. It is beautiful. And then finally, this Ten of Pentacles. So whatever this profound change is, this is for the long run. This is going to stay in your life for good. This is bringing you to um, major abundance, a legacy. If this is a relationship, it's going all the way uh, to, you know, <laughs> wow, you know, to, um, it's going to be generational. I mean, it's marriage, maybe um, higher levels of commitment in any case. If this is about your abundance, this is financial security for good, for good. So why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Temperance, Seven of Pentacles, and the Chariot. Oh, yeah, this has been a long time coming. This is why this is so significant. It has been a long time coming. We saw the Nine of Wands before, the Ten of Wands. Really, uh, you didn't give up on this thing, uh, whatever it is, whether it's a relationship or otherwise, but... You didn't give up on this and it's going to pay off major, major, major payoff here. Yes, you had planted seeds. You had nurtured them. You were extremely patient in this situation. Extremely patient, Cancer. You nurtured this like nobody's business, but you couldn't see the harvest. It wasn't happening. But look at that. It's divine timing for this alchemy to happen. Look at two cups again. These two of cups that we saw if it's a relationship, it's divine timing for it to happen. After all this patience or this nurturing that you've showed, uh, this peace uh, that is being restored uh, in you, this inner peace, knowing that this is, uh, you know, uh, long term, um, you know, yes, for the longest time you couldn't see the harvest, you, you were just burnt out, but it's here now, it's divine timing uh, with temperance. And leading you to this major, major abundance, if it's financial, or to this absolutely beautiful um, relationship that is going to be really um, going all the way here, uh, long term in your life, and you have the chariot. So positive movement forward, fast movement forward. And this is your major arcana cancer. Need I say more? This is really you attaining uh, the highest possible version of yourself at this time, healed, divine masculine, divine feminine, light and dark, and just shooting forward uh, with this profound change that is happening, that is giving you so much inner peace, whatever this is uh, in your life, Cancer. So I hope um, you like this reading. Uh, if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. I'm trying to grow this channel. Uh, if this uh, resonated with you, please leave me comments. And uh, if you're a newcomer, please subscribe. So thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Bye.